The need to decentralize political powers and authorities with a view to establishing more government presence and fast track development at the grassroots necessitated the creation of local governments. The local government, therefore, is essentially to provide basic social services such as good roads, dispensaries or clinics, and primary education, among others. The relevance is not far from the functions they are supposed to carry out as a third tier of government. Of course, to operate and ensure that they attend to the immediate needs of, you know, that level of uh, government. In Kogi State, there are 21 local government areas, but coping with their responsibilities remains a challenge because of dwindling resources, which are mainly from federation accounts and other internal sources. Experts traced the problems of the local governments in the state, particularly to the early 2000s during zero allocation which led to percentage payment of staff salaries, over bloated staff, interference of political godfathers, and inability of councils to execute meaningful projects. The number of staffers are high, and on top of it, we have unintended beneficiaries. If the third tier of government is to remain relevant, experts say the system must be granted the necessary autonomy with effective monitoring and supervision. That section of the constitution that attaches local government to the dictates of the state should be explained and local government system should be given direct you know, autonomy to operate. I advise whether the federal government or state government that local government should be given autonomy for them to perform efficiently, prudently and to be able to be productive and to provide the services they are expected to do for the rural dwellers. In Lokoja, Francis Udojo for Weekend Fire.